Welcome back. We are back with more on the deadly crash of a Broward Fire Rescue helicopter in Pompano Beach. Two people, including a resident, a civilian, they were killed, four others injured. The NTSB is just beginning to investigate the crash. NBC6 reporter Jamie Gorilla spoke with a veteran pilot and got his perspective on today's crash. Jamie. Yeah, the NTSB has a lot of work ahead to try and figure out exactly what caused this chopper to go down. Meanwhile, Chopper 6's pilot, who actually had to fly over the scene, he says that he is always conscious that something like this could happen at any time. Anytime I see a helicopter go down, it uh, puts a lump in my throat. Vance Harvey flies Chopper 6 over South Florida daily. He's covered fires, crime scenes, and even down planes. But flying over another helicopter that crashed into flames is different, especially when you work with the people who were on board. That's a pretty small community, uh, BSO, uh, Miami-Dade, and then the few news helicopters all talk to each other on a regular basis. So although I don't know the guys personally, I do talk to them on the radios often. So, uh, you know, I always consider them one of us. Harvey says the Broward rescue helicopter that crashed into an apartment after it spiraled out of control may have started with an engine fire. That fire burned the chopper's tail rotor, which keeps it stable in the air. Unfortunately, that fire melted off the tail rotor. And once that happens, then there's no hope. Harvey says as a pilot, it's a priority in these unpredictable and deadly scenarios to be aware of what's on the ground. As he was probably trying to get the thing to the ground, to a safe area. Looks like maybe he was trying to get to Pompano Air Park. Um, the fire was so hot that it looked like it melted the tail boom off of the aircraft. In addition to pre-check and maintenance, Harvey says there's a psychological component to flying in the sky because pilots can only control so much when flying, especially when it comes to flying machines. My eyes as a professional tell me at least... Uh, uh, part of the story, but uh, we'll have to wait for the investigation. The NTSB, they're good at what they do. Yeah, and no word yet on when the NTSB will have its preliminary findings. Point Live tonight in Pompano Beach, Jamie Carolla, NBC6 News. All right, Jamie.